Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss how you calculate the T value when trying to work out the size of your CPC and is the value of T that you got, is that uh, correct and does it comply with BS7671? On your screen you can see our cable calculation where we've got a DB on the left hand side in the main house is going to supply this sub DB, a sub board in the stable block. So we've got a distribution circuit, not a final circuit. So we will skip all of the cable calculation until we get to this point here. So I am just calculated my maximum or my ZS of 0 0.92. And I've said my maximum allowed is 1.7. So I can now move on and the next step in the cable calculation. If you've got our cable calculation guide, we are now on step 14, <clears throat> and we are going to work out our fault current. So our fault current is IPF. And IPF equals volts divide my ZS. This is Ohm's law. A current is volts divide resistance. ZS is a measure of resistance is it is measured in, uh, its unit is ohms. So let's add our values in. So we will have 230 uh, divide 0 0.92. <coughs> Excuse me, and that would equal uh, 250. And that is amps because we are having a measure of I current. Now we need to look at our T value. So we go to our log log graphs and they are towards the back. We have our log log table. They start right towards the back. Now we need to look at the correct one. So our question says we are using a BS882. So we've got a 3036 and here we're down on this table here. We are looking at a BS882 with a 32 amp. So we could go along the bottom where we've got our current and we had 250 amps. We have 100 amps, 200 amps, so it's in between this line and we would go up until it hits this thick black line which represents my 32 amp and I would go along and now I find my time. And that looks like it would be in between 0.2 and 0.3. Bit of a uh, funny reading. They're, they're hard to be perfectly exact. Or we can use the table. Each log log graph has this table. We can see my fuse rating here. So I had a 32 amp. And at if I had a full current of 310 amps, it would trip in 0.1 seconds. A full current of 260 amps, it would trip in 0.2 seconds, and so on. So my current was 250. So that is in between 260, which breaks at 0.2, and 220, which will break at 0.4. So I would say in between that, safe to say that my T, my disconnection time, would be 0.3. So if I just chop that down, my T value equals 0 0.3 seconds, and that was from figure uh, 3A, 3A. So what is the maximum time that I'm allowed? Is it less than 0.3 or is it more than 0.3? Now let's have a look. Where would we find this out in our book? So we looked at our maximum disconnection time tab. Maximum disconnection time, page 65, we find table 41.1, maximum disconnection times. This table applies if we uh, first read this regulation. So 411.3.2.2 it says maximum disconnection time stated in this table shall apply to final circuits with a rated current not exceeding 
63 amps for a socket outlet or 32 amps for a fixed, connect, uh, fixed current using equipment. Our question is for a distribution circuit, it's not a final circuit. So we don't use this table 41.1. Below it, we have 411.3.2.3 and dot four. So it's in a TN system and in a TT system. Our question is a TN system. So we're here, in a TN system, a disconnection time not exceeding five seconds is permitted for a distribution circuit or for a circuit not covered by regulation 4.1. So not covered by this regulation, which is this table. So if my circuit is not covered by this table, I have this here, this regulation. So my maximum disconnection time uh, is five seconds. So I can go ahead and let's write that down to gain those valuable extra marks. So we have my value of T we've worked out from our log log graph of 0 0.3 so now we can write max allowed is 5 seconds and that was from regulation, always write your regulation numbers that you use to gain those additional marks in your cable calculation question oh, nearly ran out of page there and there you go, maximum allowed is 5 seconds, regulation 411.3.2.3. And there is how you work out whether your, whether your log log graph, your T value, uh, is compliant with BS7671. Our question here, we are compliant, so we are now ready to move on to the next step in our cable calculation question. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level two and level three in electrical installation. Now, if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe, most importantly, listen to your lecturers, he or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.